since kick.com is a new streaming platform and it's been rising a lot recently which is having a lot of issues a lot of people are switching to kick.com and they don't know how to set up their alerts and their moderation bot well here's the video for you it is really easy to set up and i'm going to show you how to do it in a few simple steps if you guys don't already know my name is agent and i do stream on twitch and kick.com as well there is a link down in the description below so you can drop me a follow i'd highly appreciate it now let me show you how to set up the bot so you can have the alerts and the moderation and everything let's go so the tool we're going to be using is called botrix it's currently in beta the website will be linked down in the description below it's botrix.live and over here you'll choose what to log in with i chose login with discord as i don't really trust with my you know partner twitch account and stuff like that so i chose my discord right there and then over here you'll be able to link your kick.com account as well so you just quickly link it, you log in, and then you will click on these settings right here. So it loads not the Discord settings, but the kick settings. And then on the left, you will have a lot of different things. You have alerts, you have widgets, you have chatbots. If you ever streamed on Twitch or YouTube, then you know how this goes with Stream Elements or Streamlabs or any other platform. Over here, we have alerts. So you can go around and set up all these different alerts. So you have the sound you want to play, you have different styles, the length, the the font size anything you want you play around with these settings and then you have like the gift subs the followers raid tip and kicks which is like the equivalent of cheers on twitch so you play around all these settings and you can test them out as well by clicking these buttons over here and if you want to put them in your obs you simply go into this widget url it's currently blurred you click on copy and then you open up obs right here and you go into right click into sources right click add browser and you can name it whatever you want click ok and all you do is just paste in this url right here and click ok i'm not gonna paste it; it's gonna leak it you click paste you click ok and that is it then you can put it wherever you want inside your your scene and then whenever somebody subscribes follows raids whatever it will show up the alert right there it is a bit limited it's not like stream elements where you can you know have different um, images custom stuff you can't really have too much on botrix but it is new and you know kick.com is new all of that stuff you can't really do too much so that's for the alerts uh, you can also import some of the alerts if you have uh, you know for example from different platforms like trovo twitch youtube you can import them right here as well if you want i personally didn't use this so i don't really know how it works I use, you know, all manual stuff. You have widgets, which is pretty cool. You can have, you know, a viewers counter. You can have the subathon, the goal followers, and, you know, different stuff. I uh, personally use chat, and I use the goal followers. So it shows, you know, it's, it's like this thing right here. You can have it as a browser source as well on your screen. And then it shows up, you know, however many followers you have and what is your goal for the next amount of followers. Again, same thing. You go to widget URL, copy paste it into the browser source in OBS or Streamlabs OBS or any OBS you personally use. Uh, chat also works the same. You know, you set up whatever you want, whatever platform you're on, and then you copy paste it as a browser source as well. So what we want to set up is our chatbot. So we go to the third section, chatbot, we enable it. And over here, you have a lot of different moderation tools, including link protection, emoticon protection, symbol protection, all of the other protections like Nightbot, Fossabot, or any other Twitch bot that you might have been familiar with. So I personally use all of them because who doesn't want that? Commands, you can set up whatever command you want. Um, you can also import them from, uh, from Nightbot, which is very nice. I don't use Nightbot anymore. I use Fossabot, which is way better on Twitch. So I couldn't really import anything, so I had to do everything manually. But if you have a Nightbot, you can go to modules and then import and it will import all of the commands from Nightbot on Twitch or YouTube into kick.com. Very nice. There's also a level system and point system. So the more messages people you know, type, the higher level they are. You can you know, do some giveaways for the higher levels or whatever you want. It's pretty nice. Uh, you can also set up chat alerts when somebody, uh, you know, uh, follows or subscribes it shows up in chat as well very nice uh, there's different timers uh, you know if you want to have show up every 30 minutes 25 minutes whatever you can have different timers or like follow reminders or or anything like that you can have it set up right there and then you have different uh, loyalties you can set up over here we can see which you know 
level somebody is and how you can uh, play around with that and all of that stuff. There's mini games, there's integrations with different platforms. But personally, I use these three things. I use alerts, I use widgets, and I use chatbot. And that's very, very good. You have everything in one place. No need to set up 30 different platforms for alerts, one for, you know, moderation, whatever. Everything's one place. You don't really need to do anything too much, too crazy. Uh, and it's pretty simple to set up. I hope you guys like this video. As I said, Botrix is a pretty nice tool. There was another tool very similar to it, but they kind of broke down as soon as Kick started getting more viewers and more, you know, people coming in. They couldn't keep up with the servers. So I would highly recommend this one. I've been using it for a while and I haven't had any issues with them. If you guys did like the video, make sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe. And if you don't already know, like I said, I stream on Twitch and Kick. There is a link down in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.